Hey, it's a party over here. Bring your people to the other side. Take them back roads. You might wanna bring your other ride. Big chrome wheels, custom paint that ain't cutting it. Nobbies with the mud flaps. We be on some other shit. Couple hundred cattle and a pond full of southern cat. You can't tell me nothing about barbecue and both for that. Meet me in the middle T and show you how we crop it up. Hang it in a bar, let it cure to that proper stuff. Chattanooga. Jim, uh, Jim Wilcox, Parts and Service Director, and uh, happens to be my brother-in-law. Um, we've worked together for years at several different companies. Jim, like me, grew up in St. Louis, Missouri, and uh, kind of city boys. We went to a, to a high school in the city, and um, until yeah, until I got thrown out. <laughs> um, that's a totally different story. Now, Jim has had uh, more experience uh, uh, back home with some rural uh, settings than I had. His dad was uh, was a country boy at heart, and uh, you'd you know he played farm, and I I bought a farm in Missouri before we moved here. So had the horses and cows and tractors and did hay and all that fun stuff. And ever since uh, you've been here, in what 10, 12 years? Yeah, twelve years. Twelve years. Um, You've wanted some property. Yeah. The kids and were in school, so once they got out of school, I was like, I'm moving to the country. And you bought what? 36 acres. 36 acres in Auburn Town, if it was really a town. Yeah. We have a Dollar General. <laughs> a Dollar General, actually a suburb of Auburn Town um, out here in, uh, what county is this? This is Wilson County. Wilson County on the Cannon County border. Yeah. Yeah, and it's uh, it's about as rural as rural gets, and it's beautiful. Uh, we'll uh, we'll show you some of the property here, but the reason that we're here is uh, so many of our customers come and they say, "I just bought fill in the blank five acres, ten acres, a hundred acres. In your case, thirty six acres," um, and uh, you know they they wonder what kind of uh, equipment they'll need. Now, by your own admission. The, the equipment that you bought might be, uh, you could do with smaller? Yeah, certainly, you could do smaller, smaller equipment, takes longer, can't quite do as much. Started with a DK4510 here. And it worked, which, it worked, it worked well. Um, a lot of things, you know, took a little bit longer. And then, and then when I moved into the RX7320, I first thought was, is it's too much tractor. I, I won't be able to get into the woods and cut my trails. I was so wrong, you know. Um, it is a perfect size for this. What I'm doing. Yeah, you'll never, uh, you'll never overwork it or, or wish you bought a bigger machine. Right. Yeah, and uh, you know, depending on uh, budgetary restraints, and and you know, you got to consider budget. Um, you know, if uh, like he said, it, it much of what he does here can be done uh, with a smaller machine. But if budget allows, um, you know, if you could afford to get a bigger machine than you actually need, there's no harm in that. You know you got the right machine. You bought an uh, RX7320, which is a, a Coyote's premium level, full-size tractor, 73 horsepower, 63 at the PTO. And uh, as we'll, we'll show you on some of the stuff, the RX, uh, you, you'd run out of pencil and paper writing down all the standard equipment on it. The, the machine has... An electric PTO with automatic mode, telescopic link end, self-leveling loader, tilt wheel. It has PTO cruise control, and on and on and uh, it, you know even even stuff that we forget to mention to customers that we take for granted, like being able to a lever on the back of the tractor to raise and lower the three point from from behind the machine. Stunnable link ends. Yeah, exactly. What did you get? You got a six foot medium duty round back cutter. Yeah. Yeah, and a seven-foot tiller. Uh, we we traded for a, a, a used. Well, we traded for a tiller that's now uh, you know a used tiller, seven-footer. It was a good buy, so I brought that by today, and uh, we're going to unload it here in a minute. Um, but uh, one cool thing about the RX is uh, the the span of equipment that you can run. You've got a six-foot cutter. You could do eight. 10, yeah. 12, or 15, yeah. you know, depending on needs and as they change. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I don't, me, I don't have, I don't want that much field to cut. 
So, I mean, I, I would probably never have to have or need for, you know, a bat wing 15, 12 foot. The six foot does me well. It's more universal. It does have the clutch, which that's one thing with a big tractor. A lot of rocks and running over stuff. The clutch is very important. I don't want to have to keep putting shear pins in it. So, I'll be cutting trails, more trails. You know, basically, you know, I'm not really making money on the, this property. I'm just, it's for peace and I want to raise deer. Yeah. So, <laughs> deer and turkey. So, I, I'm not sure that that's you. You're you're going to help them. Right, right. I, right, I don't right, think right. it's legal to actually. No, 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 no. I'm just going to fatten them up. Is what I'm doing. That's that's very kind of you, Jim. Jim is is like that. Uh, he's always concerned that the uh, wildlife are starving. well for, starving. Starve. Right. And and when it's cold outside, he wants to bring them in. Right. Yeah, they they won't be on the hoof at the time. <laughs> <laughs> be on a plate. <laughs> be on a plate. All right. So let's get this uh, seven foot tiller offloaded and uh, we all take decided, a look around. Decided to use it. Yeah. See what happens. The first thing I noticed is uh, pallet forks. You know, uh, a lot of people wouldn't know. You know, are pallet forks handy in a in a rural setting? You don't play with pallets. They're probably one of the most useful implements. I use them for taking implements off, pull fence out, pull fence post. Unload lumber, I mean. And without awesome. damaging a bucket right. or in a chain. Right, yeah. it's 101 uses for power forks, I mean. Well, like today, uh, we ran across a pre-owned seven-foot Titan rototiller. Big, massive, thousand-pound tiller. And uh, I, when I got here, I expected you to throw a chain around the bucket of the tractor, and I see no. No. All no. right, well, let's get, the, uh, let's get this thing off. That's smoky, by the way. That's Jim's uh, security system. Jason Buchanan, Master Tech. Me on the YouTube if you want to learn you something about this simple southern country boy out of Tennessee. Hit me up on my space if you want to get at me right around the corner. There's a perfect place for you and me. We all call it home, but you can call it Tennessee. Rolling on them back roads, blowing pine, sipping on that moonshine all the time. Party in the backyard, yours or mine. Hey, either way, we just kick it in Tennessee. It's a beautiful thing to behold. And Coyote incorporated a, uh, a soft start PTO when you're using it in the automatic mode. So even though he didn't throttle down, when the PTO re-engages, it's not hitting with the full brunt of all of that horsepower that this tractor puts out, horsepower and torque. All right, I saw the game camera. What, uh, if anything, have you seen besides deer? Uh, coyotes, uh, bobcats, raccoons, just all of the normal Tennessee wildlife. Turkey? Oh, lots of turkey, yeah, lots of turkey, lots of turkey. So you had a small tiller and obviously you did some of the field um but we ran across this uh seven footer it'll be anxious to see you know how that goes there a, a pink bunny just ran through your field i have all kinds of wildlife out here it was almost six feet tall i think you're making that up uh, no i had a five foot tiller i did all this with the five foot tiller and a dk tractor it worked great the only thing i didn't like is i had industrial tires 
it has to be fun every time every time you you clear another trail you find surprises yeah i didn't know this was here when i bought the place it's beautiful you think i'll fall in with the 800 hundred dollar camera So deer would know it's here. Yeah, you really can. There's a trail right there. All right, so I see you've cut trails. Were these trails that were there years ago, or are these trails you just made, or what? Uh, we believe, I believe that they were somewhat there, you know, like a little four-wheel trail, a horse I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, we haven't got too far back into the property yet, but my goal now is to get the fields tilled and get them planted. Then I'm going to start cutting trails. And what you haven't done yet is uh, you haven't even been to the back side of your property because it's so thick. Well, I did. I walked it. You walked well, it? I walked it, yeah. Right. I walked it. But so the uh, the intention is to make it accessible. Accessible for yeah. either Jeep or four wheeler or something. Just be able to ride it. And cool. Property. All right. Smokey. Smokey enjoys it out here? He loves it. He loves it. Okay, I don't like it quite as much as I did here. Um, what was that? I told you, I have all kinds of wildlife out here. You never know what is there. A, is the season open on them? I mean, <laughs> well, I can it, we get your 303 out? I think it is rabbit season. Charlie, Charlie, what are you doing? What the hell? Wait, wait, he's I see him. Guys, come here. Rolling on them back rolls, slow and pine, sipping on that moon. 